Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn and it's update time. We're doing the renovation on our country house, the Purple Door, and if you've been following me for a while, you know why it's named the Purple Door. But I have a couple of things I wanna talk about before I show you some of the furniture that I've decided to put in the Purple Door. And I'm loving these pieces of furniture. So, I wanted to tell you, yesterday's love shoot went great, by the way. I um, talked about it, I did a live of the video of, of the dove shoot, and I did a couple of videos yesterday, and it went great. We got 67 dove, and the boiled peanuts were a big hit. I'm gonna make sure I write those and put them on the blog at stacylynnharris.com, so please subscribe to that if you haven't already subscribed. And please share this video with your friends, with anybody who would be interested in it. Again, I'm Stacy Lynn, and I'm gonna show you the furniture that we've put into the purple door. So that's our country house that we've been renovating. Um, we had a great dove shoot yesterday, and then today, one of the really neat things that happened, we were having kind of a birthday party outside. One of my daughters had a birthday yesterday, and we didn't get to open all the presents yesterday because we were having the dove shoot. So we open them today, and we see this carrier pigeon, and it's just, it's still out there. Um, and so it's just sitting there. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, it has a tag. It's got tags on both of its feet and it was coming right up to us. And it's just, it's like it's just a tame bird. And we're, I'm like, when it first flew through, I'm thinking, there's got to be some saying about this. And, you know, and then it started walking over to us and it was just so beautiful. Well, anyway, it has a tag that says Auburn University 2018, but it also says it's from Wisconsin which is really interesting. So I don't know if they tagged it, took them to Wisconsin, and they're just seeing where they are, or what, where they're located. We're gonna call Auburn University tomorrow and tell them about it. But anyway, it's been a neat experience for the family. And um, I've got video of it, and I've also got pictures. So if you're interested, let me know, and I'll post it. So anyway, back to the renovation. I'll, I have one more thing before I'll show you the furniture. I'm Stacy Lynn. If you're just now joining in, I see a lot of you are new. And um, I'm so excited to show you some of the furniture. Finally, we're about finished. We have the bathrooms to do, but after that we'll be done and we're moving furniture in now. And we've got our water. You know, if you've been following me, you know that we don't have our water, but we finally have our water. So I think some of you might be asking that question. And um, the toilets are working, which is really great. And, um, and we've got it hooked up. So I'm super, super, super excited and kudos to the well digger. Man, we couldn't live without him. So, all right, I wanna show you something. A really fun, fun story. Something great that happened to me this weekend. I went to buy the green peanuts at the farmer's market. And by the way, they're out. My dad said that it should be a little bit longer before you can buy the green, but I found them. And I got mine at Sweet Creek um, Farmer's Market here um, off of Troy Highway in Montgomery, Alabama. But, there's other places that have them too. So anyway, I made them. He told me everything there is to know about peanuts. I'm gonna be putting bull peanut recipe on my blog, stacylynnharris.com sometime soon. So you'll wanna visit there because they are the best peanuts ever. Well, anyway, I'm up at the counter and I see this magazine and it's called Edible Lower Alabama. And I was like, oh, this is a beautiful magazine. And I was like, huh, this is interesting. And I saw venison and you know I love venison and you know I have a cookbook that has a lot of venison in it. So I'm thinking, I wanna be in that magazine, man, who in the world? So I opened it up and lo and behold, they're my recipes. And I had forgotten that they had asked me for these recipes. And this magazine, first of all, is really beautiful and you will want to get your hands on one. Look at this, Rosa Parks recipe for pancakes unearthed all kinds of neat stories and it's just great farm i think farm raised meats and then my my recipes which are in my cookbook harvest the stacy lynn's harvest cookbook and it's got um, all of these recipes in it and you can get it with the code and i'm going to let you in on this with the code harvest 18 on my website, stacylynnharris.com, and you can get a discount, and I'll sign them for you in any way that you want me to personalize them. Well, anyway, I've got fried rabbit with sage buttermilk waffles, venison shepherd's pie is in here, venison Korean wraps, 
you can just do all kinds of stuff with um, with venison, but I also have beef, chicken, half of the, the book is vegetables. So vegetarians will still love it. It's got probably over 115 recipes on vegetables from the garden. And then an exciting part of this is one of my favorite chefs, here he is, David Bancroft from Acre is in the same magazine. So I was super excited to be in the same magazine with him. He is a chef at Acre. He has a, another great um, restaurant coming out, coming, coming out like it's a book, but he's got another restaurant that will be ready in the fall and I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous. He's an awesome guy and if you're ever in Auburn, you need to stop by Acre and his new restaurant. But anyway, so that was fun and I'm sorry that took so much longer to tell than I was thinking, but I was really excited about it. So now I wanna take you and show you the furniture that we have in our new renovated house. It's just a little bit of furniture, but it's some of my favorite pieces and I think you're gonna like it. So come on and I'll show you. So this is polar white if you're wondering about the wall. So it's not exactly a white. And um, this is called Notre Dame and I got it in a semi-gloss. We have green goddess on the wall in here and a coconut cream, which is kind of a, a yellow. Um, I don't have all my knobs on the doors yet, but anyway, um, we also have the tile, which is a vintage tile. I'm going for a Creole look. So I also had the hackberry. We have hackberry trees on this property. So my husband made hackberry countertops, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got my Hoosier cabinet. And I don't know if you know about Hoosier cabinets, but anyway, I can't find any anywhere. And I'm so glad that I got this. I got this at Scott's Antiques in Atlanta, Georgia, probably about 10 years ago. And it's just got all kinds of space and drawers and you can keep big, huge pots in here. And pretty much anything you need for cooking, you can keep in this cabinet. And I'm loving it and it just fits in here so perfectly. So I wanted you to see one of my favorite things. So then we'll come in and I originally wanted this piece to go into the kitchen, but I tried it and it was just too small and it felt closed in. So I decided to move in here, but this has got a lot of storage in it, tons and tons of shelving, and it kind of has um, a French Creole look to it, and I've had it for a really long time, and I thought it would just be perfect in here. So it's kind of got this um, aged look, but it was like that when I got it. I, I don't really know where it came from. I know I bought it at Scott's Antiques again, and, and the same with this table. So I have one of my favorite tables in here, which I love. And this is a north facing window. So when I take pictures um, for the blog, when I'm up here, you know, having a great weekend at the country house, I'm gonna be taking pictures right here. So now you can imagine how that's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a lot more messy than this. And so I wanna show you this wonderful table. So it's great for small spaces because you can turn this table around or you can make it bigger by turning it that way, which I would do. Let's see if I can do this. I don't think I can do it by myself, but anyway. But it opens up to a table that is nice and big. And this, this part of the table has like a polyurethane coat on it, but the other is just raw wood. And I think the raw wood is just gorgeous. But if we were gonna all eat at the table, I'd probably use this side. So, um, so anyway, it's great for a small space. Love the table. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I have one more thing to show you. And I, I just couldn't help it. I just had to start on bedroom. So come right on through. Again, if you're just now joining us, I'm Stacy Lynn, and I'm showing you our renovation for our country house called the Purple Door. So in here, I decided to go gray and real serene so that it would be nice to sleep because pretty much we're just gonna be sleeping in these rooms. And since I have seven kids, I've got this bunk bed in here and I've got two sets of bunk beds in another room and then I have another bedroom. But this is just gray. Oh, and this is really cool. Um, it just, you can reverse this. And I got this, um, I got it at Dillard's and I, I don't, I'm not sure who made that. Then I have these pillows which are Ralph Lauren pillows. And um, up here, this is a Ralph Lauren throw. And so I just did white. I wanted it to be kind of different and didn't want it to all look the same. So I sort of mismatched the stuff I saw at the store. But anyway, I'll have some other bedrooms 
coming your way. And I want to show you the purple door. We always have to end on the purple door. You may have seen it a minute ago, but this is the reason we call it the purple door. I loved this color. I went to try to pick out what color do I want for the door, and I thought, I've done already a green wall. I've got these yellow cabinets. I've got these colorful tiles in the kitchen, and I'm like, do I need any more color? Well, yes, I did. I needed more color. So all of the doors in the front are this color. So I promise you, in the end, it's going to be beautiful with everything I've got going on. And when I get the furniture in here, it's going to all come together. But anyway, I'm excited about it, and I will see you. Now, next week, I probably will not be here, but I might pre-record something um, at 3 o'clock. But I'm going to be at the Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia. I'm going to be speaking uh, both.